Welcome back to more Dreamland Farm, everybody. In the last episode, we once again made more progress with our tools. I feel like I said that at the beginning of every single freaking episode. But yeah, uh, the big thing here is that we did finally get 40 of, um, uh, what do they call it? Ashwood pieces. So let's go ahead and send that. That completes all of our quests for now, which is really good. So let's go back. Okay, so basically uh, what we're going to do now is I guess just use up a little bit of stamina yeah and end the day because that was the main thing I think sorry this always happens in the beginning of each episode because I forget what the heck I was doing I mean I knew I was turning in those you know pieces all my tools are golden level which is really good um yeah I should do that there we go. I'm at, I'm at exactly half, 75. So let's go to bed and just kind of see, you know, where where the game takes us now. I have so much money. I haven't, I haven't even, like, sold anything in this game aside from, like, two berries or something. Like, the absolute minimal, the most minimalistic thing ever. Okay, gonna do that. Dear Farmer, those are some of the best ashwood pieces in my career, ideal for the furniture business. I know that whoever will get used to them in the future will admire your work. And as promised, this time I reward you with some coins. Use them however you like, you certainly deserve them. Wait. Oh, I did get blueprints. I thought the guy said that I was not going to get blueprints in the... What? Okay, whatever. Maybe I misread it or something. But I'm pretty sure he said in this first mail that like, Oh, well, I don't have a blueprint this time. I'll give you some other reward. Yeah. Oh, wait, but it also... Well, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Because now that I think about it, I was reading that paragraph without comprehending it. <laughs> but like, you know when that happens? Um, it would happen to me in school, like growing up and stuff, like elementary school. That's why they teach you comprehension, that sometimes you would like read a whole page like of a, of a novel, and then you'd be like, what the heck did I just read? I don't even know what I read. So you have to reread it again. Um, okay, so there's two trees. They're red ones, though. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Maybe a good idea to just hold off. I'm going over there. I might not really need to prioritize it right now. It depends. If I have to use up stamina, then I will do some stuff regardless. Let's go over here, though. I do want to make sure that I upgrade my respective tool here. Okay, let's see what I can do. Um, I got six of these. That's good. And then I got... A bunch of these. Let's go ahead and do six of those. Okay, so we can definitely upgrade this one. Is that the highest level? Oh my god, I guess it is. You see, the diamond one I would expect to get... Oh yeah, that's right, it would have to be this one. Which is the final upgrade, huh? Okay. This one I can also do. Um, I might as well do it, sure. So I'm missing ten diamonds, and I already have all the lumber for that. That is actually really, really good. And they got those. I mean, we're in a really good position here. I just have to kind of wait it out for the next tier of stuff to spawn. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna break a couple of these just in case. Might be a good idea to do so. There's only like two or three though. Yeah, I mean, it is this. I mean, it's fine. I have to use up stamina regardless, so might as well do it. I'm at 77, and I believe there was a tree down here somewhere. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no, there was. Okay. Alright. 
that about covers it. So with that, we are free to finish here. Whoops. Okay, all done with today. Yeah, I assume we're gonna get another quest for the other two blueprints now. Okay, what you got? Dear neighbor, I have to go back to my previous uh, huge order that you were thinking on. I am a few days behind because of the gold and armor for the prince, but now I have the energy I need to take care of the next commission. Would you help me and send me 10 diamonds? A rare beautiful stone I very much need for the finish look at the decorative iron swords. They need to look dazzling. I have no more blueprints for the new pickaxe for you. That is true, but I adore your work. See, he says, I have no more blueprints for the new pickaxe for you, but I adore your work. I will gladly pay you some good, but so why do they say that if they do end up giving you, you know, stuff instead. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but all right. Okay. So that's done. Let me go ahead and water my crops. So I think we'll start by going into the, the tower, as always. Just to kind of see where we're at. So there is a white tree up there. I don't think there's any of the new color trees. What's the one down the, on the island? It looks green or is that blue? I can't really tell. Uh, let's just go. We should go check it out regardless. So that's exactly what I'll do. Okay, so the quest here is 10 diamonds. How many do I have? I only have four, so I gotta go pick them up first. Which means I have to make 20 diamonds in total. I've already used 10, and I need another 20. Another 10 for the other two tools, and then the other 10 for the quest. Yeah, so I'll do that in the meantime. Yeah, that's perfect. That, and then we gotta wait. Okay. In the meantime, we'll go down here first. Just to kind of check out this this tree. Is that a and wood line? Oh, that is a new one, so it's like bluish almost. Okay, well, take care of those. And now we have to just go ahead and turn in that thing. This one, that's it. So that pretty much wraps up this day. We're gonna get two more blueprints for tomorrow, which means we can put those 10 diamonds to good use, upgrade everything to essentially diamond level. And then it looks like that's the last tier of tools. As far as getting um, those different logs, I'm not really sure what it's going to be for, but we'll definitely keep going throughout the days to see what additional mail we get, of course. But if there really isn't too many more quests after this, then this could be the finale. I mean, you'll all know, if this video was titled Finale, then obviously it's the finale. But if it's titled Episode 5, it means that it's not the finale. Um, wait, I already did that. What am I doing? Oh wait, I have to actually use up stamina. Oh yeah, here's the trick, by the way, that people, or... I shouldn't say people, a developer told me. If you ever run into that problem, just do this. And then you can just, you know, 
use up however much stamina you want, and there you go. Generally, it makes sense not to do that. You want to actually put your stamina to good use, but you could if you want to. I've never seen that in the years that I have lived on this earth such beautiful diamonds. I don't know how you did it. If that was pure luck, good eye, good skill, or maybe a bit of everything to it. The most important thing is it clearly worked. Have your reward and spend it well. See, you do get blueprints. That's so weird. I don't know why they... Why the... Um, that, that's a question. If the developer is watching, that's a question I have, actually. If you're watching, please let me know. Why do the characters say, Oh, I don't have a blueprint this time for you. But then when you complete their quest, you do get a blueprint. That's a little weird. It's a little strange for sure. But anyway, we're going to cut these trees. All right, that's all done. Let's go through here. And we have to go up in this tower again. Okay, there's a tree right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's ore up there, but... I mean, maybe I should take care of it. That would be a good idea. Okay, got that. Yeah, like, I feel like it is a good idea to do it because... If I'm gonna upgrade my other tools... Actually, let's go and do this first. Like, if I'm going to upgrade them, then I really need to make sure a lot more of those deposits spawn. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Okay, right in here. We're going to do... Oh, i got to get my diamonds first from in here. That's it. I have upgraded every single tool to the max. One other thing I will do is I'm gonna buy some animals just in case if I do need to. Like if that some of the next ones have to do with produce, animal products a lot. I wanna make sure that I'm prepared with this. Um, how much money do I have? 2100? Let's do that. Yeah, I spent a lot of money, but that's okay. Yeah, I did that because um, we've already gotten a quest for eggs, for milk, and also for truffles. So I figured, well, maybe for sheep, there will be one soon with regarding wool. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and hit all of these because we need some of the new stuff to spawn. You can also hit this one. Alright, that's it. All of them were taken care of. So at this point, we've done all the quests to get all the blueprints for the tools. Now, it is going to be interesting to know what additional quests are going to be, you know, asked of us, because I'm sure there's going to be more quests. Okay, right in here, going to bed, 11, 12, okay. All right, there's his mail. I'm writing to you simply because I need help. My last comfy pair of socks just broke. I can't sleep and I shiver in my bed. This might sound like a bit of a pathetic, but I treat you as my friend and that is the truth I want to share. Please lend me your hand and help me get a new soft and warm pair of socks. Would you like to send me five pieces of wool? I believe the wool from your sheep will make the best socks in the whole country. I will pay you generously as I really need my good night's sleep back. How much wool do I have? 
Um, where is wool? Oh my god, I have five. That's like perfect. What I should do, how much fodder do I have? 16? I feel like I should definitely feed all my animals because... Oh wait, I had more here? Whoops. Yeah, I'll take all this stuff. There we go. It's just, it's important, you know? I'm pretty sure I might need some of that stuff eventually. I also, these things are growing so slowly, huh? I mean, the one on the far left grew finally. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and turn in that wool. Other than that, that's pretty much it in terms of what I can do. I will still keep going, of course, to all these new, you know, trees and all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, there's one white tree there. That's pretty much it. There's only one deposit in the top left. Doesn't really seem worth it. At least not today. Okay. That's it. Um, should I convert some stuff? I think it might be a good idea to do this. I'm just not really sure. I'm gonna do 10. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I already have a lot of that lumber, by the way. That's crazy. Uh, but it's the ore that I have not gotten any of the new stuff yet, since you get the pickaxe after the axe. But I suppose that's okay. Okay, so I gotta use some stamina. See what new quest pops up now. Dear friend, today was the first night with my new socks and I hope to stop like a rock. I will be forever in debt to you for the favor. If you would ever need anything, please don't be afraid to ask. Right now I will attach some money as a reward to this letter. Thank you once again. I am still very tired and need and in need of more quality sleep, but now I know where to get the best wool. I really like doing business with you, and I hope that it will not be the last of my letters. Oh my god. You didn't think this little challenge of ours was over, did you? Well, I have yet something new for you to try out. Send me some of your radish soup, and we will see where it takes us. Radish soup. Uh, sure. Let's do some radish soup. Um, what do I need to make radish soup? Wait, what? Hold on. I think I just, wait. Bread, fries with salad, pancakes. Wait. I didn't say radish soup. I could have sworn he said. Did I read that wrong? I think I definitely read something wrong. Somehow I put the word radish and soup together. I 
gonna have to go up to the freaking mail thing and check. Yeah, because again, one of the downsides of this game is that you can't see your, at least I don't think so, you can't see your quests. Um, you can only do so when you're on in the post office or when you read it from the middle box directly. But I could have sworn that, well, what the heck did I read then? I think I just made up some, I think maybe they had the word radish and something and I guess I just kind of, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I did to be honest. But for whatever reason, I read it as radish soup. Um, okay, let's see. Um, the deposits are growing very slowly. One per day. Which is not ideal. Hmm. Well, let's go back then. Really have to read this. Um, wait, it does say radish suit. Hold on, I can do this now. What? What is this item called? Cauliflower. The word cauliflower derived from the Italian capital. What? I swear that's a glitch. Okay, first of all. Yes, first of all. The game did actually say radish suit, which means I gaslit myself for the last five minutes. Great. The second thing. Oh, let me. Um, okay, I'll buy that. How much money? I guess I can buy a. Hmm, let's buy a fourth cow, sure, well, also let me buy some more food. I'm gonna go up to like, hmm, 20, let's do like 22. Yeah, okay, so there were two major issues there. The first thing is that the game did say radish soup. And so if you go through all your cooking options, you will see that there's no such thing as a radish soup. There's like a radish salad or something like that. And then there was some, and then there was different types of soup, but no radish soup. So I don't know, maybe that was a glitch or something, or maybe that like the developers forgot to change the name of that request. The second thing is that he didn't even ask for a dish. He asked for a cauliflower. At least that's what the quest says. So I don't know if the game glitched and put the wrong thing there on the send. Or if I did something weird. I'm not really sure what happened, to be honest. Like, I really don't know. Um, do I want to plant more stuff? How many freaking cabbages do I have? God damn. Yeah, put those in there. I guess I have a lot of these, huh? I only have one left, and I have five. Well, you know what? It's fine. Let's just keep going, and then we have to see what kind of quests we get regardless, so let's just do that. Okay. I have a very different request. You see, I have this friend who creates figures and jewelry out of wood. They are very talented, gifted individuals. I'm very fond of them, you know? It is their birthday coming up and I want to make a really remarkable gift for them. The only issue is they are a frequent visitor to my home to my home and to the forest too. I won't be able to hide anything from them. But I want to ask you is to send me 50 spark wood pieces. It's a special beautiful wood that my friend adores. I will gladly pay you for this request. Thank you in advance. You have a great radish on your farm. The soup was wonderful. I wasn't hungry yet I ate all of it. I will give you five stars for that. Enjoy your reward and grow some more delicious crops. What did I get? I swear they didn't give me anything, even though he said enjoy your reward. 
I feel like some of these cooking things are, I don't know if they're bugged or if I'm just missing something, but I don't, I don't think I got money, right? Did I get money? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I should, I should compare it in video editing to see if, if I did have something. Anyway, 50 of the spark wood. That's perfect. I got plenty. We're good. Okay. Gonna run this way. And now let's see. Okay, there's a lot more deposits over there. Not really any trees except one on the left passed over there, okay. But that's basically it, so... It is now time... To go up here, we're gonna turn in that thing. Okay, that's it. Quest's finished. All right, now let's go right over here. Oh, there's the new one, the purple one, whatever that is. tree up right over here we're gonna hit it just to get the wood out of it I and mean, that's pretty much gonna be it for today which means we can go to bed peacefully let's go over here another open treasure chest anymore yeah I'm not sure why that one random day a bunch of treasure like two more treasure chests spawned for whatever reason they just spawn and yeah Today, yeah, what's the quest for tomorrow? Let's see. What do you send me? Simply perfect. My friend was so happy they, cr they cried those big happy tears. They're such an ugly crier. I adore them. I hope that they will one day make something for you with this special wood. In the meantime, enjoy your reward. You worked very well and I hope it will not be the last of our encounters. Oh my god. That, that money that I just got is absolutely insane. I got like 10,000. You give me 10,000? Was that like... Does that imply that was like the last quest of the game or something? Because it sounds a little too crazy. Like it really does. Um, well, now I'm kind of curious if I should just like uh, try, try to spam sleep as quickly as possible. Well, no, what I will do is I'm going to buy max animals. I guess I should also keep looking for trees. There's just white ones though. I don't really care about the white ones too much anymore. this one because it's right in the way I mean the other one's not too far the way either it's over there on the left side okay yeah let's buy some let's buy max animals because I can T 
That was basically all my money. I'm at a thousand bucks now. I'm gonna go to like 40. Okay. Do I think I buy more crops? Probably not. Well, I mean, what else am I gonna use money on? Like, I already bought max animals. Might as well, in case I need to. Okay. That's it for that part. Um, I guess I can go over to the left to see if any more of the new ones spawn. Well, I have to use more stamina regardless, so... Let's do it, because we gotta go down, down to 75. Oh yeah, see, there's one. Day's over, which means I'm gonna get another thing for tomorrow. Mail and see what happens there. Cause at this point, I mean, yeah, like I, I feel like I've done all the quests that would make sense as I've gotten all the blueprints and all that good stuff. So we're gonna have to wait and see on what else can trigger. will come to an end after this last order well at least for the time i'll be on vacation and later when the work won't be so busy and i will need your help this is the last batch of materials that i will need for a while if you send me 10 elder stones i will pay you well 10 elder stone why don't you in the same topic again ready for a challenge the next one it's a common folk food very tasty and nutritious let's make some potato bread shall we potato bread let's see if i can do that What? Oh shoot, I don't have any... Oh god. Um... Kale, radish, parsnip? I don't believe I have what I need. Cabbage, pumpkin, kale... No, I don't have any of that. Oh, shoot. That is not good because... I think the inventory in the store is random every single day. I'm pretty sure. So I guess I should have been more on it, you know? To, like, be buying them consistently. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to finish these quests. Oh, God. So you said 10 of what? I'm gonna have to look at the um the post office to see what that looks like. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. So 10 of those? Yeah, I'll make 10 of those. That's fine. Okay, in the meantime, let's see if you sell, uh, what is it, wheat? I think.
I mean, it's all the same. Also, do you sell like different, no, I don't even know. Hmm. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Oh, you know one other thing I should do? Yeah, I should take those, because those might sell for some decent cash. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that, uh... The only way that I can get that stuff... Is just by luck. Because there's, there's no way to, like, cycle them through. No, there's not. Hmm. I'm in a bit of a predicament over here. Yeah, for here I'm pretty much just gonna have to wait. Sorry, I'm just kind of waiting here. I'm trying to predict about what? I think there's gonna be like two left. Oh man, these are actually going not nearly as fast as I thought they were. That's okay. We'll just wave it out. Yeah, but, um, see, we're at 37 minutes now, so we have a little bit over 20 minutes left in this video, and I don't actually know how close we are to finishing this. I mean, the fact that this wheat thing is going to be a bit of a problem, I'm not really sure what I'm about to, what I'm going to do about that, since there's not really a way for me to get additional wheat unless she sells it, just by some, you know, luck or something like that. But if I finish all the other quests, I also don't even know if I... Do I necessarily need to finish these recipe things? If I, since I feel like the main story is tied to the... Log and minerals, because that's tied to the tools being upgraded? I don't know. Okay. Um, sorry, not there. I'm so used to immediately going, you know, over there. Okay, let's go in here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, he's letting me send this. What? Okay, I definitely found a bug then. I definitely found a bug, I can confirm, because there's no way that ca cauliflower would be an eligible item for that as well. Like, there's just no way. So that is a pretty crazy bug, honestly. Pretty crazy. Because you can just kind of cheese it through all these quests. Well, now what exactly are we going to do then? Like, I mean, if cauliflower is working for all these things, then it's working, you know? Oh god. Oh here, we can... Yeah, we gotta use some stamina, because our stamina has to be down to 75. Okay, and should I plant something? Maybe I should plant something. Oh wait, now I'm not even taking any stamina anymore. Is that correct? Hmm. Yeah, okay, take a look. When I dig, 
Maybe this is what the best shovel in the game does. It just doesn't consume stamina anymore. That would make sense. I mean, what else would it do, you know? Like, I don't really know what else the better shovel would do in this game. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need all this stuff to be honest, but I'm just doing it. How many freaking seeds do I have? Well, there we go. Can't even do that. Okay, well I did both of those quests, now let's take a look. Let's see what's gonna happen here in the mail. Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you for the Elder Stone. This is the material that I hold very dear to me. Thank you for helping me the last few times. I won't forget to write to you in the future when the occasion arises. Maybe I will tell you a bit more about the Elder Stone then. Who knows? For now, enjoy your reward and some free time. I know what I would gladly eat for breakfast tomorrow. And somehow I won't be sweets, but your delicious potato bread. Great job with this one. Yeah, I even though I gave you a cauliflower. I need to make some myself now. Okay. Sure. So I guess this is just going to be the way that I'm going to use my stamina. I mean, I, I have to use stamina anyway, so I figured I might as well plant some stuff regardless. And then here I can just do like... Yeah, whatever. That's fine, I think. Okay, let's just go to the next day. I don't really want to look around the world today. Oh, that's it? Seems like that might be it. I mean, I've completed... Oh man, could that be it for the... I, mean, I don't know, there, are, there probably are still those, like, the bakery ones for the chef. We'll see. I need just a few more. Yeah, we'll do those two. Do I still have more? I do. How many freaking seeds did I get? I bought so many, huh? Okay, let's skip another day again. Just to kind of see where we are with progress, you know? I'm gonna make a couple days pass to see if maybe I gotta wait a few days for another quest. Yep, there we go. I think it's dinner time. And you know what? It's one of the most simple and common dinners, fries. Well, let's make it a tiny bit healthier. Would you accept a challenge to cook some fries with salad for me? Uh, sure. I guess. Oh my god, I'm off by a freaking carrot. Why do I not have enough of this stuff? Didn't I literally get so many carrots? I mean, I, I thought I did, but... Uh, maybe not. I mean, I can try the cauliflower again.
Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go. Let's go over there. And see if the cauliflower works. It's gonna be so funny if it does. And if not, I gotta hope that she sells carrots. Yeah, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of that random element of selling because it promotes a lot of luck in the game of like RNG. I feel like they should all just be avail available and you buy whatever you want because there's no season that's in this game. A lot of farming games, they block out certain crops based on the season. Like if it's spring, they're, they're only going to sell spring only crops, obviously, and stuff like that. But in here, I don't know, it's, it's weird because since there's no seasons, technically you can do whatever you want the whole, you know, any time. No, see, this one actually does require that. That's so weird, huh? But I don't know, like, if I can't get lucky and get a carrot, then I'm not really sure how I'm going to advance this. I got cauliflower there. Yeah, see, because this means that I would have to come over here every single day. It might not be worth it, honestly, to complete the recipe quest because of that specific problem. Like, I could get lucky as early as tomorrow, and then tomorrow, like, oh, there's carrots for sale. Or I could literally s sleep for like 30 days nonstop and not get a single carrot available. And that's just gonna prolong the Let's Play by like two to three videos. Just looking for carrots, which is gonna be so boring for all of you. So. I don't know, I'll definitely play this until the end of this episode. We have about 12 minutes left or so. Just to kind of see how it plays out, but beyond that, I just don't think it's really worth it to try to go for all that because it's it's gonna be kind of annoying, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. Yes, and, and that's like, yeah, we already finished all the other quests in the game. It's very apparent. done I'm gonna go out there again to see if these things changed at all and if they did great if not then I don't really know what I'm gonna do Sunflower, sunflower, beetroot. That's it. So another, you know, unlucky day. And like, I'm telling you, what if I do this for like freaking 20, 30 days nonstop and nothing pops up? Then it's technically something that's out of my control because it's so dependent on RNG. Which is not the best mechanic implemented. I can kind of see what they were going for. But again, that, that limitation is usually tied to seasons in farming games. But because this game doesn't have seasons... It is significantly more difficult to implement that feature into the game while it also being a well-designed feature. That's the difference. The other thing that could have been done as well, what some farming games do is that um, whether they have seasons or not, you um, yes, like you could still obviously have the player purchase any seeds, whatever they want, but what they could do is they could unlock certain seeds at a certain point in the game. A lot of farming games actually implement this mechanic and it's pretty cool. Um, you know, how like you start with like three or four different seeds and then throughout, you know, fulfilling certain criteria, like, I don't know, maybe shipping the, a certain number of crops from the seeds that are available to begin the game, 
or maybe um, I don't know sh shipping a certain amount of money somewhere maybe by a certain amount of time being passed that a new one gets added to the inventory it just kind of depends every game is different uh, Rune Factory games are a good example of this where there's a lot there's a huge variety of like when you then like something about like selling back certain ones uh, I, I'm a little foggy in that part but you know there's there's a lot of mechanics that can happen for sure that can be implemented see nothing again so and the other thing is that it takes so long to go like this was actually a thing that I got some comments saying that like oh man I really wish you could move faster to get I agree I 100% agree I think um, adding some kind of dash feature would have been great okay so I guess now that I'm nearing the last few minutes of this let's play I should talk about my thoughts overall of this game overall it's pretty fun and cute for what it is I mean it's a very cheap game in terms of price like it, it's not a very costly game you can get it you know for very little amount of money which is great um, so for what it is for that price yeah even better if you can find it at a discount if it's on sale on the you know eShop perfect even better um, so it's overall you know pretty good for what it is because I will say if you compare it to other games let me just tell y'all something right now. I have played probably like on my channel like 60 or 70 farming games. Throughout my whole life though I've played probably well over 100 to 150 farming games. Huge variety of games. You know I have I played really great farming games. I played really bad farming games and everywhere in between. In all my you know 10 plus years of YouTube and even more than you know beyond that like before that. And I will say there are several that are really great there's a lot of mid ones you know just around the middle average that's fine right but there's also a significant amount of garbage out there like there are a lot of really badly designed farming games like and i mean really bad and then some are just kind of bad but regardless the point is that this game i would not categorize it into bad for, for what it is it's actually pretty decent it's very simplistic, yes. One of the issues that a lot of farming games have, the ones that are oversimplified, is that it's so boring. It is extremely boring, like for some games. So for example, one other game that I've played very recently on my channel is Zomb Farm. Um, I think at the time this video was uploaded, I probably only had the first video uploaded on that channel. Or sorry, on my channel, I don't know why I said on that channel. It's called Zomb Farm. Take a look at it, go watch that video, scroll back on my videos maybe about a week or so ago, and you'll find part one of that Let's Play. And let me tell you something, still no carrot, shoot, damn. Yeah, and uh, let me just let me just tell you something. Um, I'll just buy them all, I don't even care. Uh, so that game, Zomb Farm, that's a perfect example of a game that got oversimplified to the point where it is just so boring and there's nothing to do. Basically, you play these little mini games in your farm for your animals. You get, you know, some of their items and whatever. And you get to grow crops. Cool, right? Cool. Why did I go this way? I don't get to go this way. Um, yeah, so cool, right? And the gimmick is that there's actually zombies out there in the forest. And you want to get to the town to, like, either buy stuff or you ship stuff. You have to meet these, like, weekly goals. And then if you sell it, like if you complete those goals, you can then go to the truck in the town, ship that stuff, and that's it. There's no story to it beyond just, you know, that there's freaking zombies in the forest and they're trying to kill you. And that's it. The game has no sense of progression at all. It's just a whole infinite loop of playing and there's nothing. There's no quests in the game. There's no story beyond just, you know, what is told in like one or two screens and that's it. It is... And like, sure, the first, oh shoot, I forgot about this. The first, like, f maybe 10, 15 minutes of the game, I would say even 20 to 25 minutes, cool, you know, you're learning about the game, all the different little mini games, all the different mechanics of the game, but then, not that there's a lot, there's not. But after you play the game for like half an hour, you'll find out that like, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. There's no quest, there's no like, sense of completion there's no sense of progression 
you're just like, what the heck am I doing? And that's it. That's literally it. That's an example of a game that is just... It was not implemented well. The game is so basic that there's nothing. This game at least has quests in it, which is good. Um, sure, the quests are extremely simple, you know, and it's the same mechanic overused, you know. You just, you know, get the mailbox, you turn it into the post office, and that's it. Sure, not the best thing, I will agree. But, it's something. And, the other thing too is that I do like the variety of things that you can gather and sell. Some things have no purpose, I feel. Um, the berries don't really have a purpose. I mean, sure, you can cook with them, I'm sure make some, you know, decent stuff. But they don't have any kind of purpose for quests. All the shells and stuff that you picked up on the shore, you can't even cook with those. And they also have no purpose for quests, which means it's literally just to sell them, which is good that they add stuff like that, you know, to the sell. But at the same time, they can make those items also have another purpose. Um, the, I will say, one thing that I should say, oh, still no carrots, that's ridiculous, yeah, thing, whatever, that's fine. Um, I will say that, in terms of critiques, there, there are a few, none of them are really major. One of them I've already talked about, the whole seeds things, the selling of seeds, I'm not going to talk about that again. But basically, to just talk, talk, it up, talk about it in like 10, 15 seconds, they should have implemented a feature where their character has full control over purchasing what they want. If they didn't want to give all crops available to the beginning, fair enough. So they could have added a feature where you unlock things throughout. Like you unlock additional seeds. Or they could have added seasons to the game and sell different things throughout different seasons. That works too. Um, but as of now, it's not a really well made feature in the game. Since it relies so heavily on RNG, somebody could easily get everything they want by luck. And somebody else could be playing for 30, 40, 50 days and not even getting the one that they want. So it's there's just too much luck behind it. Too much luck. Second critique, they should have added some kind of fast travel or a button to speed up. Maybe like a stamina meter where you hold it to dash. If they didn't want, want to make you do infinite dashing, fair enough. They could have added a stamina feature where you know you hold it, it gets depleted, and then you wait a little bit more again so that it can get filled up again. Rinse and repeat. That would have worked or just a fast travel and no that mine does not count as fast travel because it is too far out of the way the amount of time that you would go into that mine go through the dungeon and then to the other side and then come out that's hardly a fast travel it is not an efficient way at all to travel fast throughout the game so they should have done a better mechanic and another critique is um for the planting of crops i feel like they should have done something better um I do not think that the upgrades should have not done anything regarding doing it faster. They should have let you water faster, or um, or you, like use the shovel faster or water faster. Like most farming is where you upgrade your tools, you know, like the watering can, you can do three squares at a time or more. Yeah, so that part was not, you know, cool. That part was not too great. Another feature, they should have um, also let you see quests whenever you want to. That would have been nice. As opposed to only when you're at the post office. That would have been cool. Um, I guess that's kind of it. For the critiques, I can't really think of too much else. I like the whole mechanic of adding more you know, rare trees and deposits throughout. I did not get a single carrot from all these days. That is crazy. That is crazy. Well, regardless, I'm done. So yeah, overall fun game. I said my critiques. The developers even said it, commented that was like one of their first games ever. So they're going to, you know, take some feedback and make an even better game. But overall, developers, if you're listening, not bad overall for the first game. Just a couple things definitely that I would say that are legit complaints. But yeah. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye everyone, have a great day.